this is something strange. You, you don't expect it to find a warning on a beer bottle that says, this beer is bitter, very bitter, don't say we didn't warn you. You might find lots of warnings on beer bottles, but do you ever find a beer that says, this is maybe too bitter for you? That's a strange warning. Actually, that beer, Jack Hammer, is uh, said to be one of the bitterest beers in the world. Uh, they say that it has more than 200 IBUs, which means more than 200 uh, uh, ppm of uh, alpha acid, which is the bitter component in hops uh, in just one beer. Well, uh, that's an extremely bitter beer you would expect. But let's see what it looks like. For an IPA, it's, uh, it's very light in color. It's almost golden. You don't find too many golden colored IPAs. But you know, people at BrewDog, they don't care too much about styles. They don't care too much about um, what other people say. They, they just want to brew interesting beers. And uh, they, they use a lot of hops. They even say on, on the glass what hops they're using. It's uh, Centennial, Columbus, Simcoe, Citra, and Amarillo. So very intensely hopped. Uh, one thing is it doesn't build too much of a head, uh, which probably has to do with the fact that this beer has lots of hops, which help uh, the, the, the density of, of, of the foam of the head. But um, it also has a lot of alcohol. It's, we we're talking 7 point something percent ABV, which means that this beer uh, is strong in alcohol and alcohol also tends to kill the head. So it's, we're not talking about a beautiful head. We don't, don't talk about, uh, well, we talk about a nice, a nice color of the beer. But we talk about a very, very, interesting, fruity, uh, pineapple-like, mango-like aroma. There's definitely lots and lots of hop in it. But will it be very bitter? You know, uh, there's more hop aroma than bitterness to it. And, you know, the first sip doesn't taste too bitter. It it has a lot and a lot of malt character too. It gets to reach these seven point something ABV. You need lots of malts. And only after you have this malty, almost sweet taste, you get the bitter background and you get this, this dryness in your mouth, which means it makes you thirsty. This is what a but the trick is, if you, if you want to have a good beer, uh, the brewer will always make you thirsty. The, the beer should not be thirst quenching, and this beer definitely is not. You want to kill the dryness in your mouth by drinking more of the beer. That's the trick. And um, it works for a minute or two, and then you say, uh -huh, can I have more of that? Yes, yeah, sure, as long as there's beer in the bottle, and as long as there's more bottles, not a problem at all. Uh, but they deliberately give you a small glass because they want you to, 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 to enjoy the, uh, the sensation when you, when, you, when you drink from it. And these glasses, you, know, you see from the shape that they release a lot of CO2 at the moment when you, when, when, when you tilt it. So it's, it, it means you always get a fresh beer. Every, every, every sip of the beer will be fresh and have lots of carbonation. And have, have, well, it's, 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 it's a really fantastic beer where you say, what, 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 would, you, would you have food with that? You could. But it should be very, very salty. Um, I personally prefer to have this beer without food. Uh, I, I just 
I'm a hophead. I, I, I have to admit, this is the beer for the hopheads. It's just drinking and drinking of an infusion of very, very interesting, very hoppy, very bitter, very uh, aromatic hops, but backed up with some sweetness of the molds and, um, well, I could drink on of this beer for a whole week. So I hope to see you next week for another Conrad Seidel Spear of the Week. And, um, well, keep enjoying this beer. Enjoy it responsibly. We're, we're, we're at 7.2%, but, well, that means it's about 90% water. <laughs>